Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Isaac Fleet, and this is your KWHS News. Although college visits are over for the semester, the mill tour will happen tomorrow, December 11th from 10 to 11.30 a.m. Students, please be sure to inform your teachers of your scheduled absence for the classes you will miss. Stay in touch with all future college visits by checking out the Counseling Center in person or visiting their websites. We will have second semester visits when we return. Seniors, our class t-shirts are now on sale for $15. Because there are limited numbers available, you will want to get one now before they are gone so you can wear your t-shirt for the class photo in January. Stop by the table in the front lobby to get your t-shirt today. Seniors, the first Herf Jones deadline passed at Thanksgiving, but you will have another opportunity to order class ring, caps and gowns, and announcements so they arrive before graduation. Herf Jones will be here on Thursday, December 13th at lunch in the Lower Commons. The second deadline for orders is December 21st. And now, we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Ethan Simon. Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Our men's basketball team was on the road on Friday against Fountain Fort Carson and on Saturday against Pueblo Central. The boys couldn't get those biscuits in the basket against Fountain Fort Carson and lost the game, but they managed the win against Pueblo Central on Saturday. Our Lady Glads are in the house tomorrow against Fountain Fort Carson at 7 p.m. We'll have scores and highlights for you on Wednesday. You can also catch the ladies on Thursday, December 13th at 3.30 against the Lewis Palmer Rangers at Lewis Palmer. If you haven't been to a game this year, why not get yourself to one and cheer on our teams, like Rex's Rowdies do? It could be a great way to jump into the finals week. The forensics team returns to their public speaking competitions in our halls on December 15th for a home meet called Big Question. We wish them good luck. In swimming news, our Lady Grizzlyators traveled to Pueblo Centennial for a multi-team meet. The ladies managed to set some personal records and won many of their events. Catch the ladies a little closer to home this Wednesday when they race against Fountain Valley at 4 p.m. The ladies would really appreciate your support. Our wrestlers struggled over the weekend at Lewis Palmer but earned some strong pins. The team will be back at Lewis Palmer on December 12th at 6 p.m. The team will be hosting their first home meet on Thursday, December 13th against the Mitchell Marauders at 6 p.m. and would love to see all of us there to cheer them on since it's the first of only three home meets. Tune in on Wednesday when Damon's dose of health will be about stress and what to do about it for final exams. Ladies, if you are interested in playing soccer in the spring, Miss Sardinia will be holding an informational meeting tomorrow, December 11th, at 3.30 in room 130. If you cannot attend, please see Coach Sardinia for more information and details. And finally, if you're looking for something inexpensive to do this week, check out the Winterfest concerts in the auditorium. Winterfest 1 is tonight, Winterfest 2 is Wednesday, and Winterfest 3 is on Friday. Tickets are $5 for adults and $3 for students. They will have multiple day passes available if you are coming to more than one of the concerts. This music is sure to put you in the holiday spirit. All shows will start at 7 p.m. That's it for your Monday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon. Have a great week. Now back to Moose and I Isaac for more news. Thanks for that update, Ethan. Glads, we have two very important donation collections and fundraisers happening right now that are critical to our community. The first is the WSD3 Toy Drive, and the second is the 180 Club Food Baskets. We keep telling you about them because these two events directly benefit our students and their families, not outsiders. So, if you are able to donate or participate, please do so. Here are some of the fundraisers. The Power Club is having another hat day next Wednesday on December 12th. All proceeds from this fundraiser will go to the WSD3 Toy Drive. Wristbands will be available Monday and Tuesday for $1. If hats are not your thing, but PJs are, get your money ready for Pajama Day on Friday, December 14th. The Power Club will be sponsoring this fundraiser and will have wristbands for sale for $1. See Miss Sardinia in room 130. The 180 Club is collecting enough food to provide a holiday meal as well as meals to cover the 18 days we'll be out of school for over 30 of our own Gladiator families. Please consider donating foods like the fixings for green bean casserole, potato stuffing, cranberry sauce, gravy, and box desserts. You can also bring in canned soup, ramen noodles, 
and snack foods like peanut butter and jelly, crackers and granola bars, or pretzels. Other foods you can donate include canned tuna, mac and cheese, microwave popcorn, oatmeal, or cereal. Keep in mind that these donations help our students and their families. If you have donations, bring them to Mr. Sigmiller in room 5 or any other math teacher so the 180 Club can start putting those baskets together. In case you were wondering, you can also donate cash money. We thank you so much for your help with this very important collection. The WSD3 Toy Drive is going on until December 20th. Check out the tree in the front lobby. That's where you bring in your new unwrapped toys for children of any ages. Glads, our teenagers are often overlooked in this donation collection, but they need our love too. Teens would love to receive gift cards to places like Target, Walmart, or Amazon, but you can also donate small electronic items like headphones, pop sockets, or chargers. Board games and DVDs would be great as well. Other ideas include makeup, nail polish, or hats. If you'd like to donate to a teenager, but you aren't sure what to bring, check in with Mr. Dina in room 130. If you're donating gift cards, please leave them with Mrs. Price or Mr. Shube in the main office. All gifts will be distributed on December 20th. And now, here's our lunch crew with our lunch menu. Happy Monday! Monday. Monday. Two more weeks. I know we're all looking forward to it, and it'll Actually, be over just like that. We can say a week and a half because the last few days are final day. Yes, it's true, but it's there still for the days. Yes. Uh, days. Hi. One quick thing: if you have a balance on your account and you want it refunded, you need to come and see me, and I'll give you the form. Okay? Touching. Yeah, touching, touching, touching. Okay, I need to know what's for Monday lunch. Uh, meatloaf. Oh, I know, Rip, sorry, what's... Meatloaf. Meatloaf is Monday. Monday. Monday meatloaf. Today. See, they both start with that. See, see, today. Today. Today is Monday. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, Tuesday... Tuesday's lunch. hot wings! Hot wings! Hot wings and fries. So, we'll see you then. Have a great one. And enjoy your last day of Hanukkah. Chin Hanukkah. Hanukkah, yep. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, please pay your outstanding lunch charges in the cafeteria with Miss Betsy or go online and add money to your account. NHS continues their Thursday tutoring sessions until the end of the semester. Remember to stop by the library to pick up your pass and set your appointment. Attention freshmen, finals are just around the corner and these might be a new thing for you, so the Link Crew would like to help you get ready. Come to Coco and Cram on December 18th in the Science Hall from 3 to 4.30 to get help for finals. Bring your notes and study guides and enjoy some hot cocoa and cookies as you make your way to success on finals. Students, the yearbook staff has some important notes they want us to share. Prices for the yearbook are $60 until January 7th. Order your book now by going to the business office or online at yearbookforever.com. Seniors, your mom will be so disappointed not to mention angry if your senior information didn't show up in the yearbook. So make some time to check in with Mrs. Kennedy in room 104 during lunch or after school to ensure the staff received your senior quote, photo, and baby ad. And finally, the yearbook staff would really like to feature your whip in their book. Think about how cool it would be to show your own kids someday what you drove to and from school, uphill, both ways, and in the snow. Contact Bailey Stevenson at this email address to get your car pick in the yearbook. Members of the book club, you all have a meeting today at lunch in the library. See you there. And finally, Glads, in case you haven't realized it, final exams are right around the corner. Okay, now that we have your attention, get out your calendars so you can jot down these dates and times down. Ready? Here we go. Finals start on Wednesday, December 19th with the 7th hour final. We get to attend all our earlier classes first. On Thursday, we will have finals for 1st, 2nd, and 3rd hours. On Friday, we will be taking finals for 4th, 5th, and 6th hours. Good luck. That's it for our Monday edition, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Isaac Fleet, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.